Hello students, welcome to Super Grads and I am your English mentor Sana Jafri and welcome to 11 Power Concepts series. So the series is already going strong, indicating that you all very much needed these power packed sessions. What are we doing in this series? You already know we'll be taking up quantitative and verbal ability concepts. These are the concepts that are very important, that are very crucial. So these are crisp sessions and they download concepts to you in a very simplified way. And today I have picked up a very important topic, be it IP Matt Indore or JIP Matt or IP Matt Rotak or IM Bangalore. Name any examination, any private BB entrance exam and idioms are here to stay. Okay, so today I have taken up a session on idioms. And the past few series, I believe idioms were bat in a I felt it's high time that we dived into this amazing and exotic world of idioms and phrases. Now, you cannot use a rudy here because year after year, we see a jump in idiom based questions. And yes, idioms are so many, they are innumerable. The more you work on them, and again and again, you will come across fresh and new unheard idioms. So what should be your strategy? Well, preparation, constant preparation and wonderful compilations and compendiums of good idioms, right? But usse bhi badiya ek tarika hota hai. Do cheeze jo main personally follow karti hoon and aaj aapke saamne leke aai hoon, wo ye hai. Number one, theme based vocabulary, idioms. Theme based idioms or thematic idioms, as we say. And number two, mnemonics. So, what do you actually mean by mnemonics? I have used this term again and again while referring to vocabulary. This is just a memory technique. How can you memorize idioms? So, uh, mnemonics may, may aapko example dungi. For example, a very common one kick the bucket. So what does kick the bucket mean? Obviously, idioms are never literal. Uh, they have a deeper meaning. So kick the bucket doesn't mean that someone bucket ko kick kara lat marine. Definitely not. It means to die. All right. So kick the bucket means to die. Now, isko yaad karne ke liye maine thode sa ek piece imagine kiya that there was an old man and poor fellow was having a bath and uh, he slipped and uh, maybe maybe. He accidentally tripped over the bucket or he kicked the bucket and he fell and had a hemorrhage and died. Okay, so this is how pair fissal gaya bathroom mein, bucket se ulaj gaye, kuch hua and gir gaye and he died. So this is how I tried to remember. So idioms ko jab bhi yaad karein, to first takeaway is mnemonics se yaad karne ki koshish kare. For example, another one. Bari the hatchet. And even we said take up the hatchet. So two idioms are hatchet word se bane hui, or hatchet ek weapon hota hai. So how do we actually remember this? In fact, iske piche ek story bhi hai ke there used to be some tribes. Okay, so jab wo signal karna chahti thi apne enemy ko ke now enough of this bloodshed and warfare, and now we want to make peace with you. So, wo apne enemy ke saamne at a distance, apne weapons ko zameen mein bari kar dete the, gaar dete the, thus symbolizing that they want to make peace. So, when you say bari the hatchet, you are trying to end a conflict or you want to make peace with someone. And take up the hatchet is you are announcing war. Isn't that simple? So, when you know some things about the idioms or at least when you try to memorize them through some of the other techniques, so idioms become really, really easy. Now coming to the most important thing, which is the focus of attention today, the theme based idioms. And this is how I teach to my students in my classroom. And I thought I must share it with the YouTube community as well. So, koi na koi themes bana ke, hum idioms ko cluster karte aur ek saath yaad karte hai. So, it becomes not just fun, but also easy to understand. And aaj ki deliverables mein yehi hoga, that we will be taking up theme based idioms, some of them. I want to make this session crisp, productive, so thoda quickly karenge. And I have taken up some PYQs on idioms. I've just cherry picked a few of them. Every year we've been getting a lot of idiom based questions. So I've picked up some from the latest exams. 
All right. So are we ready for theme based idioms? Here we go. Food ले लिया हमने एक थीम और फूड पे बेस इतनी प्यारी प्यारी idioms है Let's quickly have a look at these. Egg on your face to look foolish or embarrassed. Now imagine आपके face पे अंडा टूटा हुआ लग जाए Oh, that would look so slimy and dirty, right? You will look funny. This is how I always remember idioms, right? Relating them. तो निमोनिक्स में आपको बताती जा रही हूं जहां जहां पे भी पॉसिबल है एग ऑन योर फेस वेन यू लुक रियली फनी और सिली हैव योर केक एंड ईट इट टू यू वॉन्ट हैव द केक ऑल्सो विद यू राइट बट यू ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू ईट इट दो ऑपोजिट चीजें करना चाहते हो केक को संभाल के भी रखना चाहते हो और उसको खाना भी चाहते हो राइट सो वॉन्ट टू गुड थिंग्स दैट कैन नॉट हैपन टूगेदर सिंपल ये तो एक पैराडॉक्स टाइप का हो जाएगा so you're talking about having two impossible things simultaneously okay aap shaadi bhi karna chahte ho but you also love being single and free yeah so you want to have your cake and eat it too go bananas when someone is going bananas they're going bonkers they're going crazy they are becoming very excited or angry that is to go bananas out of the frying pan and into the fire फ्राइंग पैन से निकले सोचा कि बच जाएंगे बट गिरे सीधे आग में मतलब योर सिचुएशन इज एक्चुअली वर्सनिंग आप बच से बदतर हो गए ओके मूविंग फ्रॉम अ बैड सिचुएशन टू एन इवन वर्स वन नाइस ऑल ऑफ दीज इफ यू केयरफुली सी आर बेस्ड ऑन इडियम्स बेस्ड ऑन फूड स्पिल द बीन्स आई थिंक दिस इज अ कॉमन वन इट्स रिवीलिंग अ सीक्रेट ब्रिंग होम द बेकन इज इंपॉर्टेंट स्पिल द बीन्स इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट earn money to support someone from the time her husband got very sick she is the one who brings home the bacon okay couch potato is a common one i'm sure you're aware a lazy person so imagine he is a person who keeps on lying in his couch watching tv doing nothing and eating potato fries couch potato couch pe baith ke potato chips kha rahe hain Okay, a lazy person, full of beans. When you're full of beans, you're very energetic. All right. Okay. Now a few more weather-based idioms. Again, we have some very important ones here. Under the weather, ab bhi aaya hai. Is saal I P mat in door me ye aaya hai. I have included this. So under the weather, when you are not well, when you are sick. Steal someone's thunder. Me steal someone. देखो. When you take others' credit, when you try to steal their appreciation, when you try to steal their idea, or you want to just get their success, right? So to take credit for someone else's idea or success, don't steal her thunder. She is your junior. Please be kind to her. Okay. Throw caution to the wind. Caution. You being careful, you have to be cautious. You have to be careful, but then you throw it to the wind. Hawa me ora dete ho. I'm getting a hawa me ora dete hai. Throw it to the wind. When you're being very reckless, you're being very careless. You're taking some risks. Okay. I hope this much is clear. A storm in a teacup. This ko hum kehte hain thoda sa na kuch zada hi choti si baat pe bahut tufan macha di aapne. A lot of fuss over something insignificant. राई का पहाड़ बना देना फाइन क्या एक छोटे से चाय के कप में तूफान आ सकता है नहीं आ सकता मतलब आपने कुछ बहुत ही इट्रिव्यूल और इनसिग्निफिकेंट चीज पे बहुत बड़ा यू क्रिएटेड अ राव ओवर इट ऑन क्लाउड नाइन व्हेन यू आर इलेटेड व्हेन यू आर एक्सट्रीमली हैप्पी आज मैं ऊपर आसमान नीचे राइट वॉकिंग ओवर द मून एज वी से वेदर द स्टॉम To endure or survive a difficult situation, storm है, तूफान है, but हमने head-on face किया. We did not give up, right? So we weathered the storm. Break the ice is so common and easy to initiate a conversation in a social setting. A few more. So I've come up with some nice clusters and themes for you. I hope आज बहुत ही fun way में कुछ बढ़िया आइडियम सीखेंगे और तरीका भी मैं आपको बता रही हूं हाउ कैन यू गो अबाउट प्रिपेयरिंग योर ओन इडियम्स एंड इन दैट यू हैव टू बी लिटिल क्रिएटिव 
uh in, in case you want to work on themes like this but then apart from that i must say mnemonics is the key mnemonics banate chaloge to bahut badhiya tarike se jaldi se aapke idioms acche acche se aapko yaad ho jayenge nationality or geography based idioms take french leave so what is a french leave french leave is leave without saying goodbye when you just go away you don't say goodbye even uh taking leave without permission is also referred to french leave so when as an employee if you give a random sick call at the 11th hour without a prior permission you don't turn up to work you don't show up that is also called french leave okay dutch courage false courage especially when you are drunk hai na एक और चीज मुझे याद आ रही लेट मी एड इट टू गो डच रिमेंबर वॉट इज टू गो डच वेन यू स्प्लिट द बिल वाई शुड एनी वन पर्सन पे द बिल ऑल द टाइम लेट स्प्लिट इट स्प्लिटिंग द बिल है ना तो हम लोग फ्रेंड्स वगैरह जब भी जाते थे साथ में तो वी ऑलवेज यूज टू गो डच दैट द बेस्ट वे वेन एंड रोम डू एज रोम डू इज सो कॉमन इज क्वाइट अ क्लीशे आई मस्ट से सो अडेप्टिंग टू द कस्टम्स ऑफ द प्लेस यूर इन and greek to me as we say something that's hard to understand do you understand greek no if i jabber in front of you in greek will you be able to understand no so when we say it's all greek to me we're trying to say that i can't understand this is incomprehensible to me and let me add a nice one to it young turk Now this is your assignment you have to tell me what is the meaning of young turk write this to me in the comment section if possible with an example and some nice color based idioms in front of you okay green thumb someone who is very good at gardening so when you have a green thumb you're good with plants you're good at gardening red herring something that misleads or distracts from the relevant issue red herring so red herring is a very common one and we see this everywhere around us the governments uh, the media they are all coming up with red herring because wo nahi chahte ki hum jo main mudde hain un pe baatein kare sarkaron ko question kare to kuch na kuch distracting issue idhar udhar leke aa jate hain right that's a red herring yellow bellied what is yellow bellied when someone is cowardly or is easily scared they are yellow bellied in the black surprisingly surprisingly it means when you are profitable when you are financially secure and solvent so yes i can clearly see that despite the covid wave and the lockdown and all the setbacks this company is in the black they are really doing well okay i hope this is clear bolts from the blue what is bolts from the blue something that happens suddenly surprising you some something unexpected that happens is bolts from the blue out of the blue kya hota hai out of the blue that's your question another question what is out of the blue please write to me in the comment section i will be really really looking forward to your responses so that was all about some nice theme based idioms that i brought before you please understand that something like idioms cannot be covered we will need exhaustive sessions but jo aaj maine aap ko concept diya hai us रास्ते पे अगर आप चल के ईडियम्स को प्रिपेयर करेंगे इट वोट बी डिफिकल्ट एट ऑल सो यू नो दैट थीम बेस्ड ईडियम्स इज अ वेरी गुड आइडिया इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वे दिस वे यू कैन एक्चुअली ऑर्गेनाइज योर ईडियम्स रियली वेल आई डू दिस इन माई क्लासेज रेगुलरली ओके एंड सेकेंड थिंग इज निमोनिक्स ये तो हर बच्चा बना सकता है वेज इन विच यू कैन एक्चुअली ट्राई टू रिमेंबर द ईडियम्स एंड फाइनली वी हैव IP Mat PYQs on idioms. तो चलो कुछ actual IP Mat questions देखते हैं. As I told you, अब भी देखो कितना easy question है IP Mat 2024 का. बहुत ही आसान question. देखो बताओ हो रहा है क्या? Anil could not go to his friend's party as he had fever and was dash. Now here, if you carefully evaluate, 
they're not asking you the meaning of an idiomatic expression as used in a sentence normally you come across this question type idiom ko use kiya aur aap se uska meaning puche but nahi they want to test whether you know the exact form of the idiom or not jaise pichle saal unhone aise isi type pe question diye saving grace saving face to aapko pata hona chahiye ki actual expression kya hai okay तो अंडर द वेदर है वी नो दैट विच मीन दैट अ पर्सन इज सिक और इज फीलिंग अनवेल एंड सिंस ही हैड फीवर ही वॉज अंडर द वेदर राइट बाकी ऑप्शन स्टैंडर्ड इडियोमैटिक एक्सप्रेशन है ही नहीं और राइट ओवर टू द नेक्स्ट वन माई सुपरवाइजर सीम्स टू बी इन अ बैड मूड बिकॉज ही डैश वेन आई आस इफ आई कूड लीव एन आर अर्ली ओके So, क्या होना चाहिए शुड इट बी ए टू माई हेड हम हिंदी में जरूर बोलते हैं अरे सर खा गए मेरा बट इंग्लिश में ईट योर हेड इज नो स्टैंडर्ड इडियम राइट कट माई वॉइस इज नो स्टैंडर्ड इडियम हिट माई इयर ऑफ इज ऑल्सो नो स्टैंडर्ड इडियम इट इज बिट माई हेड ऑफ वेन सम वन बाइट्स योर हेड ऑफ दे बिहेव वेरी एंग्रीली वेरी रूडली विद यू ओके so in this scenario this is what precisely happened since the supervisor was in a bad mood probably that's that's the reason why the moment i asked if i could leave early he bit my head off okay sar kalam kar diya usse me not to be taken in the literal sense of course but then he was so angry and he responded in such an angry way probably thrashed the person all right i hope you will remember this again mnemonic bahut hi simple hai है ना सरी काट दिया ऐसा जहर उगला ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सम बिग शॉट्स नो हाउ टू एस्केप द लॉ इवन आफ्टर दे वायलेटेड इट इज हाउ एवर द डैश हु आर मोर एप्रिहेंडेड एंड पनिश्ड नाउ दिस इज लास्ट इयर्स पेपर 2023 ओके व्हाट डू यू थिंक शुड बी द आंसर नाउ लुक एट द ऑप्शंस एंड दे ऑल सीम टू बी लॉजिकल इनफ this is where these people are testing whether you know the idiom when you know the correct form or not right to bataiye bhai kya lagta hai aapko kya hoga the answer is small fry tiny tiny fish small fish they all might appear that you're using these expressions metaphorically to mean that someone is worthless or is not significant enough I understand, but then you have to choose a standard idiom, and the standard idiom is a small fry. Any person who is very ordinary and who is powerless, छोटा मोटा common आदमी, right? Small fry. तो वही है कि कैसे big shots जो होते हैं, जो top guns होते हैं, वो तो escape कर जाते हैं. They circumvent the law, as we say, they circumvent, they escape, right? But the people who get apprehended who get caught and incarcerated and punished are actually the small fry theek hai so class that's all for today i hope this nice small crisp session gave you vital insights on how you can prepare idioms we learn some nice idioms today please make sure that you take screenshots and you jot these idioms down and learn them and with the mnemonics that i have shared with you i am hopeful that it will be very easy for you to remember them that's all for today i'll catch you soon with another session on grammar essentials so stay tuned and follow all our sessions bye